What was the experience like winning last year's state championship? It's a great opportunity for us to see the kids be excited for such hard work that we put into it for that group of guys. For me personally, it was, it was exhilarating that you know all the work that you did preseason, midseason, during the season panned out at the end. It was great for the college, I think, and the environment of the college itself uh, when we won it. So it's a combination of all those things and being able to just kind of live in the moment and enjoy it as a time. I'd love to see if we can duplicate it again this year. And having the experience of playing in the national tournament, can you share some thoughts about how that felt as well? Getting there was a huge accomplishment for our program. Uh, and then playing actually in those games competitively, realizing that you have the uh, talent team and uh, resources so just like anybody else to be at that level. Uh, plus playing some of the best junior college basketball players in the country. How did the experience of winning last year's state championship and playing in the national tournament compare to when you won your first state championship back in 2002? Oh, I would have thought that we would have gotten there a little bit earlier. but. Uh, uh, circumstances didn't work out that way, but the first one's always special. I mean, it's just the fact that you've done it uh, at that time. We've never had did it anything like that in, uh, in the history of the school and our men's or women's basketball program. Looking back at last year's championship team, how would you describe that group? How would you compare them to other teams that you have coached throughout your career? Just a really gritty group of guys. The chemistry on that team was really, really great. You had the right mix of kids in terms of talent, roles, uh, and personalities on and off the court. Hopefully uh, they had the same experience I had, which was having a day of enjoyment. I never had a bad day of practice. The energy level was great. Uh, the kids actually were able to uh, buy into those kinds of things, and when we challenged them, they, they, they rose to the challenge. You only have four players returning from last year's championship team. Is it hard to rebuild a team with so many players moving on? Unfortunately, that's our job on a constant basis year to year. We lost nine players last year from a team uh, with 13 guys. And, and the four that were returning, we had two transfers and probably two qualified freshmen going to leave. So we might be in the same group at the end of the year. But it is our job to go out and recruit the guys, whether they're freshmen, sophomores, come in and compete at a high level, be able to do the things that we're requiring to do both on and off the court. Is it hard? Yeah but it is a job. And uh, at the end of the day, we got to make sure we're accomplishing things in the right way. We just don't bring in anybody. We want to make sure guys who do come in, they have a chance to compete. Uh, plus they want to compete not only here, but in the four walls across the street, which is in the classroom. Can you talk about some of the returning players from last season and what you expect from them? If you look from a perspective of who played the most, it would be Jalen Perry. He averaged about eight minutes a game. I think he ended up averaging a little bit under six or seven points a game in terms of coming off the bench. We were expecting great things from, from Kanan, Bartley. Uh, obviously, uh, he only played in one game, broke his hand late October, but played in the game in Tallahassee, broke it again. Probably would have been a starter on that team at the point guard in front of Ahmad, probably, depending on how, who competed well on what day. Randy was a spot starter. He had a role to play last year. He was most of a defensive stopper. Uh, and then uh, Glenn was obviously behind five pr pretty good forwards. He was the odd man out last year as a freshman. So his role is bigger this year. Uh, he's going to have to give us some inside toughness uh, along with the other four freshmen that we brought in for inside players. Who are some of the new players joining the Titans this season? Uh, well, the freshmen are probably the most exciting ones to watch if you look at you know, kid from my Columbus, Georgia, and Daniel. Uh, Melvin is about 6'4", athletic, uh, shoots it really, really well. Trayvon Broadway, who's 6'3", 6'4", very athletic, has got high energy, and is always going 100 miles per hour. Our backline guys, we haven't turned yet, but in terms of the hard work in the, in the preseason so far, Samuel Luau, who's a 6'7", uh, kid who's up from Nigeria, originally who played in Erie, Pennsylvania has been working the hardest, I think, out of our post guys. In terms of his skill, I think he can do some things in rebounding the basketball for us and, and playing on the inside. What are your expectations for the team this season? Every year is a different year. Uh, our goal is always going to be the same. Number one, win our conference. Number two, win our region, and then get to the national championship in that order. However, our kids got to understand they're four-time defending Suncoast Conference champs, and they don't even know that. So you got nine freshmen and a couple of transfers and the guys that are back and they got a target on their shirt. You know, you're, you're regional champ, you're four-time conference champ, and everybody's going to be coming at you. So 
I'll be interested to see how they handle that challenge mentality-wise. Uh, I know we got skills uh, to do that and be able to function very well. Uh, but uh, how we mature as a team is going to be the key. Do you feel that outside expectations are higher after winning a state championship? Be honest with you, I think uh, in terms of uh, expectations, uh, no one's higher than mine. Every year I'm, I think we can win a, a national championship. Uh, some years we get there, last year we got a chance to put, get there. I think if this group matures 10 games in, maybe I'm thinking around that area, we, if we string the right way, then we should be able to be there late in the year. Hey.